Hey there, Arconiacs. I was shown information that has been public, but mostly ignored, that gives away an important plot element of Season 3 of Only Murders in the Building. I'm assuming that this information won't be revealed within the show until around Episode 7, but this is publicly available information from official channels. The information is in a character profile and kind of tells us an aspect of how Ben, Dickey, and Loretta information pans out. This information has been on the internet since the 9th of August, but mostly ignored. The person who wrote the article was given the first eight episodes of the show, so there's no reason to believe it's not true. So please, if you don't want to know how or who Loretta is likely related to, exit out of the video. If you don't want to know, please turn off the video, go watch episode five again, or Crime Scene Kitchen or something cool. With that said, here we go, full spoilers. In an article written by Desi Gomez for The Wrap about only murders in the building, she writes character profiles about all the major players this season. They contain information like who the character is, what they do in the show, and other popular projects they have been a part of. In the character profile for Dickie, she states that he is Ben's adopted brother. Yes, Ben and Dickie are not biological brothers. This makes me think that it is very likely that the notebook Loretta has in her apartment is in fact about Dickie, and as someone in my comments stated, that Dickie is her son that she gave up for adoption so she could focus on acting. This may be why she feels that she's cursed or a bad person or why she feels so negatively about Ben. Dickie is the adopted kid living in Ben's shadow and never truly given a chance for his own personal light to shine. In turn, this gives Loretta a good motive for ending Ben Glenroy's life. He wasn't the best to her son, his adopted brother. This could go many ways. Dickie is adopted, and educated guess says that Loretta is his birth mother, but does Dickie know? And if he does know, when did he find out? If he knew before the events of the season and was in some kind of contact with his birth mother Loretta, he could have given her the time and location to audition for Death Rattle, setting all of this into motion, or at least a portion of it. Dickie could not have known until after Ben's death Loretta obviously follows Ben's actions so she can keep up with her own son. She could have very well have found the information for the show herself. It would explain why Dickie decided to be Loretta's agent after Ben has died, and why Loretta calls Dickie sweet and, and always nice when referring to him. The other question is, did Ben know? Honestly, it's a toss-up, but I'm going to guess he did. Ben called Loretta a snake who was obsessed with him and said that she wormed her way into the show. Now, the part that says calling her obsessed makes it seem as if he thought the focus was on him, so it seems as if he had no idea. But the last part, warming her way into the show, it seems like there is a level of familiarity there, which I could be wrong about. He could have never known. Ben could have never known that Loretta was Dickie's birth mother. And we can't forget that Loretta has a placard that says Merry Christmas Aunt Loretta on her fridge. Was that a red herring? Or did Dickie grow up thinking that she was his aunt? Does that mean that Loretta gave her son to her sister? That would make Ben her nephew. Either way, though it does give us some information, it leaves even more questions to be answered. I know some may feel like this is a spoiler. Even I feel like this information wasn't supposed to be out, but it is. And anything released by official channels, I've always felt is fair game. I look and listen to all the interviews. I watch the TikToks anything I can to get some information from official channels and this was released by a well-known trade publication. If you want to read, I'll leave a link for the article in the description, but I'd like to know your thoughts. Do you think Dickie knew Loretta was his mother before the show started? Do you think Ben knew at all? Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Dallas and I'll catch you on the rooftop.